Hey friends, Playwright 149 was released last week and it included a real highlight. To match Area Snapshot is a new assertion that will allow you to validate your websites and web apps and also probably replace a whole lot of other web first assertions. If you haven't heard of it, this video is for you. Let's go. But before I show you the new assertion, let's set the stage and discuss very briefly why it makes sense to consider area and accessibility when testing your sites with Playwright. Here we have a button element with the class CTA and the inner text subscribe. How would you locate this button with Playwright? You might now say, all right, easy, let's use page locator and reach for the class CTA. But this approach has one downside. Now you're testing implementation details. And if someone is changing the class to something else, to CTA main or CTA bold, then your end-to-end -end tests will fail. And that's why page locator isn't in the list of recommended Playwright locators. Page get by role, on the other hand, checks for user first or accessibility first attributes. So when we try to match and locate this button here, get by role button checks for the area role of button. So you're kind of forced to use proper markup. And then it also checks for an accessible name of subscribe. And I'm a huge fan of this approach because when you're using the recommended Playwright locators, you're forced to consider usability, UX, and support for assistive technology, which then leads to a better product in the end. All this is based on the accessibility tree that browsers create when they parse the HTML and create the DOM object model. And there's a whole lot of magic included. So for example, here is this button again. This will match get by role button with the accessible name subscribe. Similarly, here we have an icon button that doesn't include text, but an image with an alt attribute that includes subscribe. This will also be matched by get by role button with the accessible name subscribe. Or you could also use an aria label to define the accessible name. All these three buttons will be represented in the accessibility tree as a button element with the accessible name subscribe. And this makes this approach of reaching for area and accessibility first attributes so flexible. With these basics out of the way, let's jump into some code and check out the new to match area snapshots assertion. The example test case today navigates to localhost 3000 and I have our checklist documentation running there. And then I'm navigating the nav element with role navigation and the accessible name main navigation assign it to a variable. And then I'm pretty much just checking if all the elements that I'm expecting to be in the main nav to be visible. So we have here a link to home, documentation, guides, learn. So all the good stuff that is sitting in the main navigation. But as you see, this is a whole lot of code and the new assertion helps out by generating a snapshot of the accessibility tree. So let's kick off a code gen session. Playrate 149 comes with a new button here in the code gen toolbar and it is titled assert snapshot. So let's see what happens when we click this one. So now, as always, we can locate an element here and let me just pick here the main nav and now, boom, <laughs> look at this. We now have here our new to match area snapshot assertion. Here right below, we have a snapshot of the present accessibility tree for the main navigation. So let me just quickly copy and paste this and let's see what we have here. Back in VS Code, we can now take all this code here. So let's grab all these to be visible calls and replace them with our new to match area snapshot call. I now already have my main nav here with the locator ready. So we can say main nav here instead. And now we can inspect what we're dealing with. So here we have role navigation, which is a nav element in our docs. Then we have a link, which is an anchor tag. Then we have a list. So in HTML, it's an unordered list that includes three, four LI elements. Then we have a button and a link and another link. And that's pretty much it. Let's see if it works and run our new test case right here from within VS Code. Here we go, docs nav is all right. And here we have a passing test case. That was pretty straightforward, I must say. So by using CodeGen, we were able to get this YAML representation of the accessibility tree of our current session. But let's tweak this a little bit here. So first of all, I think that right now I have a duplication here. So I already grabbed the main nav with the name main navigation, which means I can now get rid of this friend here. And also for the home link, I don't care if there's an image inside of this link. I just want to know that this link has a proper accessible name. Then we have here the list items. This looks good. 
And let's see if this still works. Let's run this again. Here we go. So as always with CodeGen, you have to kind of figure out what you're after. But let's look at some more details here. For example, right now we're dealing with the entire accessibility tree of our main navigation. If we only wanted to check if these list items would be there, we could also remove the other elements from our YAML snapshot of the accessibility tree. So this now should still run. But when Playwright checks our area snapshot, order matters. So for example, if we now flip these two here, so the list items around, and we say that we want to ha have first guides and then documentation, this then should be a failing test case. And here we go. There's one thing to point out while playing around with the new match area snapshot assertion, I found that the error message is sometimes a little bit misleading. So here right now it's telling me that we removed the main navigation. It tells me that image home isn't there anymore, but actually the problem are these two lines, but I'm pretty sure that this will improve over time because it's a pretty new feature. So let's bring in the items into proper order again. So what do we have here? We want to have this friend here and we want to have this friend here. And now we should have again a passing test case. Sweet. So I must say I'm already huge fan of this new assertion because first of all, it goes accessibility first, which leads as mentioned to better products. And then the way to use CodeGen to generate the accessibility tree and get this juicy YAML is just too easy to get a structure that you want to check in your websites. I will now take this new assertion or will definitely use it in some of my Playwright projects and I will report back how it goes. And you can definitely expect some future videos on this topic. If you want to learn more with the new Playwright release, there's also a new Playwright guide out there, Area Snapshots. It's pretty comprehensive. And if you go there, if you want to learn more, I highly recommend checking out this video from one of the Playwright core team members, Simon. He goes into all the details about it and definitely worth a watch. Highly recommend it. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our Playwright Tips playlist here on YouTube. We are publishing a new video almost every week and I'm sharing everything that I learned, discover, and how to get the most out of Playwright end-to-end -end testing. And with that, we made it to the end. If you have any comments or questions, drop them below. Let me know if you will use the new assertion to match area snapshot. I'm super keen on learning more. And if you're as excited as I am. And with that, I will see you very, very soon in the next Playwright Tips video.